When the lifespan of pupil reaches 84,000 years, then it decreases. Every 100 years, their lifespan lessens by one year. Their height decreases by one inch by the time when the average person's lifespan is 10 years. As soon as someone is born, he or she has thoughts of sexual desire. But that time, as soon as people are born, they can kill people. Because people's minds are so bad, humankind will nearly become extinct. When the average increasing, it increases one year every 100 years and the height of people's bodies also increases one inch every 100 years. By the time people's lifespan increases back, increase back to 84,000 years, that is one decreasing and one increasing, which makes up one small compound. With all kinds of musical instrument, instruments, this person makes offering to the immeasurable living beings in immeasurable world systems, doing so for one compa, and afterwards he teaches those living beings to purely uphold the five precepts. He teaches them to rely on the precepts to cultivate then he does the same in the south, west, north. Before the text said the east, now it also says in the south, west, and north, and the four intermediate directions. The intermediate directions are northwest, northeast, southeast, and southwest, and above and below, which then added to the previous eight total 10 directions. In all the other directions, it's also like this. Suppose there is a person who uses all kinds of musical instruments as offering to all the immeasurable living beings in the immeasurable Asamkhya world systems in the 10 directions, doing so for one compa. The afterwards, he teaches those living beings to purely uphold the five precepts the five precepts prohibit killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, engaging in wrong speech, and using intoxicants. This also includes cigarettes. Disciple of the Buddha, what is your opinion? What is the meaning of this? Does this person have much merit and virtue? Isn't his merit and virtue great? The heavenly ruler Chakra said, Disciple of the Buddha, only the Buddha can know this person's merit and virtue. Coming, common living beings have no way of knowing this person's merit and virtue. All others are unable to fathom it. All the other living beings are unable to fathom the measure of his merit and virtue. Sutra, Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva said, Disciple of the Buddha, this person's merit and virtue when compared with the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva, who has first brought forth the mind, does not equal a hundredth part of it, nor a thousandth part, nor a hundred thousandth part, and so forth, up to the point that it does not equal a hundred millionth part, nor a billionth part, nor a hundred billionth part, nor a trillionth part, nor a nayuta hundred millionth part, nor a billionth nayuta part, nor a hundred billionth nayuta part, nor a trillionth nayuta part, nor a numberable part, nor a kalanth part, nor a calculable part, nor an analogical part, nor even a part in an apanishad part. Commentary Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva said, Disciple of the Buddha, this person's merit and virtue, when compared with the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva, who has first brought forth the might, does not equal a hundredth part of it. It doesn't reach a hundredth part of the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva, who has first brought forth the body might, nor a thousandth part no a hundred thousandth part, nor does it reach a hundred thousandth part of the merit and virtue 
of the Bodhisattva who has first brought forth the body mind, and so forth up to the point that it does not equal a hundred millionth part. Now, Yuta is a great number. It is one of over hundreds of astronomical number in India. Not a billionth Nayuta part, not a hundred billionth Nayuta part, not a trillionth Nayuta part, not a numerable part. Is a person who uses all kinds of musical instruments to make a numerable part. Is that the smallest part? That is, a part that can be still be reached by numeration. Sutra, not a kalanth part. Not a calculable part, not an analogical part, nor even a part in an Upanishad. It doesn't reach even the smallest part. Disciple of the Buddha. Moreover, putting this analogy aside, suppose there are offerings to all the living beings in ten Asankhya world systems in the ten directions for a hundred compass. And afterwards, he teaches those living beings to cultivate the ten part of paths of good, making offerings in the same way. For a thousand compass, he then teaches them to dwell in the four dhyanas. After passing through a hundred thousand compass, he teaches them to dwell in the four unlimited minds. Commentary: The Heavenly Lord Chakra asked, "How much is the merit and virtue of first bringing forth the Buddha mind?" Before an analogy has brought up to explain that this merit and virtue cannot be known be known by any person, only the Buddha can know it, but all the other Bodhisattvas can't. Now, Dhamma Wisdom Bodhisattva says. Disciple of the Buddha. Moreover, putting this analogy aside, for the time being, we will not use it, but we'll use another analogy. Suppose there is a person. Basically, there isn't such a person, but hypothetically, suppose there is a, such a person who uses all kinds of musical instruments, like a guitar, piano, a seven-string Chinese guitar. Um, twenty-five stringed Chinese guitar, or a short flute, or a long flute, all of these different kinds of musical instruments to make offering to all the living beings in ten Asankhya world systems in the ten directions. Before it was one direction, but now the text says ten direction in ten Asankhya world systems. Ten limitless numbers of world systems. He makes offerings to all those immeasurable and numerable limitless living beings, living being for a hundred compass. And afterwards, he teaches those living beings to cultivate the ten paths of good. After he has made offerings to them for a hundred compass, he teaches all the. Immeasurable, numberless living beings to cultivate the ten paths of good. What are the ten paths of good? Your body, mouth, and mind. The three compass are pure. The body doesn't kill, steal, or commit sexual misconduct. That is, the body doesn't do the three evil evils. The opposite of killing is liberating life. The opposite of killing is liberating life. The opposite of stealing is giving. The opposite of engaging in sexual misconduct is cultivating proper dhammas. In the mind, one doesn't have greed. That is, one is not greed for wealth, sex, fame, or gain. One get angry. You do not get angry whether the situation is favorable or unfavorable, and you don't do stupid things. At all times, you have intelligence and wisdom. You are not stupid and unclear about things. The mouth is also without the four evils. One doesn't lie, using divisive speech, slander, or speak in a vulgar manner. 
if you turn around the 10 paths of evil, then they become the 10 paths of good. Thus, one cultivates the 10 paths of good. Making offerings in the same way, he makes offerings like before to all the living beings in 10 immeasurable, numberless world systems in the 10 durations. This time, for a thousand compass, he then teaches them to dwell in the four dhyanas. He teaches all the immeasurable, limited, numberless living beings to cultivate the four dhyanas after passing through a hundred thousand compass as he makes offerings to all the immeasurable, numberless, limitless living beings in ten immeasurable, numberless world systems. He again passes through compass and the, he teaches them to dwell in the four unlimited minds. He teaches these living beings to dwell in the four minds. The four are kindness, compassion, sympathetic, joy and renunciation. The immeasurable mind of kindness, the immeasurable mind of compassion, the immeasurable mind of sympathetic joy, and the immeasurable mind of renunciation. These living beings are taught to cultivate the dramas of the four unlimited minds. Now, isn't this merit and virtue great? Yet it doesn't equal a fraction of the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva who first brings forth the Bodhi mind. Sutra, passing through a hundred million compass, he teaches them to drown in the four formless samadhis. Then, after passing through a billion compass, he teaches them to drown in Srota Pana fruit. Then, after passing through a hundred million compass, he teaches them to drown in the Sakri Dagamin fruit. Then, after passing through a trillion compass, he teaches them to drown in the Anagamin fruit. Then, after passing through a hundred Naguta million compass, he teaches them to drown in the Ahat fruit. Then, after passing through a hundred thousand trillion compass, he teaches them to drown in the path of Prateka Buddha, disciple of the Buddha, what is your opinion? Isn't this person's merit and virtue a lot? The heavenly ruler said, disciple of the Buddha, only the Buddha can know this person's merit and virtue. Dharma wisdom Bodhisattva said, disciple of the Buddha, this person's merit and virtue compared with the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva, who has first brought forth the mud, does not come to come up to a um, hundredth part, not a thousandth part, not a hundred thousandth part, up to and include, and including not one part in an Upanishad. Commentary passing through a hundred million compass means offering all kinds of musical instruments to. 10 Asamki Aya world systems in measurable, limitless living beings for a hundred million compass. This is 10 times greater than 10 million. He teaches them to dwell in the four formless samadhis, which are the station of limitless, the station of limitless consciousness, the station of nothing whatsoever and the station of neighbor, thought or non-thought. They are also called the heaven, heaven of the attention of boundless consciousness, the heaven of the station of nothing whatsoever, and the heaven of the station of neither thought nor non-thought. These are the four formless concentrations being residing in these samadhis are without a body. The body has been seen as empty and it is not even certain there is consciousness. So there is nothing whatsoever in the station of neither thought or non-thought. One is not without marks and without without marks and not without marks. So these are the four formless concentration 
Then, after passing through a billion compass, before it was a million compass, now he passes through a billion compass, and even longer period of time, he teaches them to dwell in the Shrota Panna fruit. Shrota Panna is the first fruit of a hot tree. The Sanskrit Shrota Panna translates as entering the flow and opposing the flow. Shrota Panna enters the flow of the Dharma nature of the sages and opposes the flow of the six dots, smells, tastes, touchables, or dharmas. When you realize the Shrota Panna fruit, you do not think about eating good food, looking at beautiful forms, greedy for pleasant tastes. Your body is not greedy for touch, and your mind is not greedy for dramas. You don't enter the flow of six dusts. Every day, seek the way and don't seek food. The superior man seeks the path and doesn't seek food. Not seeking food means you don't think about what you've eaten. You don't use your mind to think today I ate this. Basically, you don't think of food at all. Therefore, if you want to know if you have realized the food, you ask yourself if you are hungry to good food. If you still have a heart of greed, perhaps when there are good things to eat. You eat a little more, or when there are not so good things to eat, you eat a little less. If you discriminate in your mind, then you are still answering forms, sounds, smells, tastes, touchables, and dramas, and you haven't realized the food. If you have realized the food, then you will not be turned by forms, sounds, smells, tastes, touchables, and dramas. That is the sisters. This is having realized the first fruit. Further, you can't say, "I don't think about eating good na- good things. I don't think about looking at nice forms, or smelling pleasant fragrances, or tasting agreeable flavors. My body doesn't know touch, and my mind doesn't dramas. So I've realized that the first fruit is not like this. When you Have realized the first fruit. You don't walk on the ground. Where do you walk in space? Your feet don't touch the ground. How far are your feet off the ground? Just an inch. Why don't your feet touch the ground? You don't want to squash any insects, so you walk above them. If you are able to do this, then that's it. Having realized the fruit, you can't pretend saying, "I heard the drama master saying if you don't enter forms, sounds, smells, tastes, touchables, and dramas, then that's having realized the fruit. I don't enter them, so I must have realized the fruit. If you speak like that, it's very dangerous and very easy to fall into the house." If you haven't realized the fruit, but claim that you have, it is certain you will fall into the house. If you are able to walk in space, then that's having realized the first fruit. Do you feel that you can walk in space? If you can walk in space, then you don't make any noise when you walk. There's no sound whatsoever. If you are able to be like. That then you can be certified to having realized the first fruit. Otherwise, you can't take such risks, saying you have realized the fruit. Then, after passing through a hundred billion compass, he teaches them to dwell in the sacred dagamin fruit. Sacred dagamin is the just the second fruit. The sage of the first fruit has seven more births and death, and one of the school. The second fruit is born in the heavens and then their human realm in the human realm one more time. When you realized the second fruit, then you are higher than one who has realized the first fruit of a billion times. 
teaches them to draw means he teaches them to cultivate the tips of dumbledores of the second fruit so that they realized the second fruit.